We were working with a couple of Paws charities in Norfolk on a different project, looking at community land trusts. And in one of the meetings, a very strange conversation uh, was, was taking place where someone said, well, what we do is we give money to the poor. The difficulty is we don't know who the poor are anymore. So we just give the money to everybody, which kind of baffled us because working in the Rural Community Council in rural areas, we're always campaigning about the poor. We looked at the poor's land and we realised actually people don't know what it is. Most of the people in the village don't know what a poor's land was. Most of the people didn't know it was there in the first place. And yet these things have got massive histories and have had a big impact on the whole country. So we applied to look at developing something around the history of poor's land. But primarily what we wanted to do was to use that information to take to a series of villages that have poor charities in them and explore with those communities poverty. It's in two parts. It's in get, get the history of the, of the poor's land and, and similar land-based charities and then use that to kind of create a conversation in Norfolk about what is poverty today. One of the things we have discovered um, is that there is a huge range of opinion about what poverty is. Poverty, really, the number of people in poverty in this country hasn't changed for over 150, 200 years. We hope that the charities that we are involved in, and there are nearly 400 of them in Norfolk, one of the most highly populous counties in the whole country, most places they've disappeared, we believe that they'll be in a much better position to use the money that they have more effectively.